So we're talking about turning and there's a couple ways to turn. One is going to be the pivot turn, which I'm going to go over first. And the second is the cross bow. And both of these turns are valuable in racing. The pivot turn is probably the most commonly used turn and it's going to be the turn you want to do when you're going around buoys. And practicing this is critical because falling or getting caught up at a buoy can really cost you your race and the results that you're looking for. So when you do practice this, I always encourage paddlers to practice it at the end of your training session when you're tired because you're going to be tired in a race when you're doing this turn. Tired, nervous, and then in this video you can see it's nice and calm, but I would like you to also practice in choppy water because oftentimes that's what you're going to encounter in the race. So let's play forward here. And the first thing I want you to see is how I step back on the board, okay? Now, there is no one right or wrong way to do a pivot turn or a cross bow turn. And there's no right or wrong way to go back on the board. Some people are nice and smooth and they got this nice cross stepping motion as they glide effortlessly towards the back of the board. That's not me <laughs> and that's not most people. I always tell my students, whatever you need to do to get back to the board, that's how you need to do it. Cross stepping is actually pretty difficult and something that not many paddlers can do. So that being said, you're going to see I'm going to the back of the board and look what I did. It's just a little hop. And now I'm not jumping up in the air. It looks like it because I'm going in slow-mo, but I'm just going towards the back of the board by sort of pushing off with both feet and getting them towards the back. So again, don't jump up in the air. I'm really not getting much height, but I'm just getting just off the board. And then as the board travels forward, it's going under my feet and I'm going back towards the tail of the board. And then I do it again, a little step. And now I want you to look at my back foot. This is super important in the pivot turn is back foot pressure, back foot weight, because that is what is going to get the nose of my board up in the air and allow me to rotate on my tail as I turn this way, okay, to the left. So getting pressure on that back foot is key. A lot of people don't get far enough back. They end up maybe right here with their back foot and the nose of the board doesn't really get out of the water and they do a big long wide turn. We want to take this turn really tight against the buoy because that's going to be the fastest way and that will allow you to keep inside positioning and prevent a paddler from cutting you off and taking inside and then getting in front. So my back foot is going towards the tail of my board and you want to be able to get at least about the front half of your board out of the water. So you get that back and then you get pressure by shifting your weight to that back foot. And now I'm doing a sweeping stroke with my paddle. So it's in a motion that is away from my board and wide, okay? So normally if I'm paddling, it's going in this direction alongside my board. This is a wide sweeping motion. And what that does is it allows the board to track this way to the left faster. So you can see I did a wide sweeping stroke and it's going well behind my board and that's going to allow me to get around efficiently and fast. All right. And then I'm that's one sweeping stroke and now here comes another and see how I'm out to the wide. My shaft is at an angle out to the side of the board. It's not in tight here because I need to get that leverage to swing the nose around. Now as I come around, that's my second sweeping stroke and now here's my third. My foot placement is the same and now after three strokes I'm mostly turned. Depending on which direction the race course is going, I might be going straight now or I might be having to do a 180. So I'm just going to add one more turn and now I'm coming back forward. So as I come back forward, just as you're going to the tail of the board, it doesn't need to be some smooth, perfect uh, sort of dance towards the, towards the front. I know I certainly don't do that. It's just a little shuffle, a little bit of a hop towards the back, towards the middle of my board, 
and then once I get in, I get back to that position, I'm going into my forward stroke. Okay, so let's run that back one more time so you can see it and hopefully pay more attention to what is going on on the board. I won't be talking as much, so I just want you to look as I come forward. I'm getting to the back of the board with that little hop. Back foot pressure is super important. Look about the front half of my boards out. Wide stroke. Didn't get as far as I, I wanted to on that. And now look, I could actually get a little bit further back and that might make me turn faster. And I wasn't quite all the way back as far as I could be. Another sweeping turn, weights on my back foot. The one thing I haven't mentioned yet is my stance is low, okay? I'm not standing tall. The lower you can be when doing this, the better because you're going to be more stable. And then we're coming through again and again, another side stroke, and now I'm paddling forward. So let's take a look at this from a different angle. So here we have an overhead view of the same turn, a left hand pivot buoy turn. So I'm going to jump towards the back of the board. Again, nothing incredibly smooth. I want you to notice how I'm taking the turn tight. Again, that's very important that you're not going wide and leaving room for a competitor to come in here and take the inside position. So the closer you can take that turn, the better. And we're going to round the turn. My board is almost hitting the buoy. If you have a soft buoy or an inflatable buoy, I encourage paddlers to take it close enough that their nose is hitting that buoy along the side as you come in. And now I'm doing that sweeping stroke and I wanted you to notice the angle that is coming wide like that and it's not going straight back alongside my board. And I'm going to do another sweeping stroke and now I want you to see how I come back forward. It's that hop and now I'm going back into my stroke in one smooth motion and accelerating out of the turn. That's really important and something that I want you to try to practice is you're going into the turn with speed because in a race you're going to have speed and then when you come out of the turn you want to accelerate using a sprint paddle technique and then go forward as fast as you can depending on where you are in the race but the reason for that is a lot of times if the competitor behind you messes up, you will be able to extend a lead if you nail your pivot turn and then accelerate out of it. So the next turn that I want to look at is a variation of the pivot turn. So I'm going to go to the back of the board just like I would on a regular turn. Now notice, now I'm doing a right hand right shoulder turn the previous one was left shoulder okay so depending on if you're goofy or regular stance if you're regular your right foot is going to be more comfortable back if you're goofy your left foot i'm regular so my right foot coming back but when i do a right shoulder turn it's harder to get that sweeping stroke this way because i'm reaching across my body so therefore because my right foot is back therefore i'm going to do a cross bow pivot turn. So a cross bow pivot turn involves me getting to the back of my board just like I do on a regular pivot turn but now here I'm going to take my paddle across to the other side all right and the way I do that is I take my right hand and I bring it to my hip and then my left hand sweeps across my body and I put the paddle in the water and that is going to help me rotate off of the paddle blade and swing the nose around. And now I do a sweeping stroke on the left side, another one, and I can jump back towards the front of my board and accelerate out of that. So just so you can see it another time, I'm right foot is back, I'm taking my right hand and I'm bringing it towards my right hip. All right, you can't see it incredibly clear here but in the next frames you'll be able to see how I'm taking my hand to my hip I'm reaching across my body and I'm sticking the blade in the water as far out here as I can while still being stable because that's going to give me a leverage point 
to rotate around that paddle in the water and then sweep across on the other side and bring the nose around okay so that's the cross bow pivot turn and then again I want to accelerate out so that cross bow that I was showing you from above here it is looking at me and I want you to see how I take my right hand and I bring it towards my right hip while my knees are bent and I'm rotating my torso to bring the paddle to the other side so my right hand it's coming down to my hip, my knees are bent, I'm sticking the paddle out wide away from my board and I'm pulling water and I'm pulling towards the nose there. You'll see my paddle pulling towards the nose, look what my nose is doing, it's coming to the paddle. All right, And that's basically what we want to see with that cross bow is that that paddle is in the water and I'm using that as a leverage point to rotate the nose of my board towards the paddle and by pulling my bottom hand here my bottom hand I'm pulling it in this direction towards my body towards the nose of the board and that's going to rotate the board and then once I rotate I can continue sweeping on the other side like you're going to see here so I'm going to come and I'm going to stick my blade in look what my hand is doing my top hand is coming down and towards my hip. My bottom hand reaches across and I bring the paddle blade away from my board, away from the nose. A big mistake a lot of people make is they don't get it far enough out so they don't really effectively turn, sticking that blade in the water. And this is a little bit of a variation in the cross bow because you see I'm still carrying a little bit of forward speed. And the way I'm doing that is I'm just keeping an angle on my paddle blade. So rather than putting the face open and that it's catching a lot of water, I'm using it as a rudder and it's kind of just steering me and steering the nose in the direction I want to go. And I'm keeping that forward speed and the nose is still rotating. And now I get here, I'm in the classic cross bow, my top hand is coming towards my hip my bottom hand is reaching across my knees are bent you get very low when you practice this to give yourself a nice strong base and then pull towards the nose of the board all right guys go and practice and remember to practice when you're tired at the end of a session watch the video again so you can see the footwork you can see the handwork and practice 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 choppy water Super important to do it in choppy water. Anyone can do it in flat water like I'm doing here. Makes it look easy. But race day comes. Even if it's a flat water race, chances are there's going to be boats and there's going to be choppy water around the buoy from the other paddlers. So go out there, practice, and enjoy.